hello guys welcome back to the channel and today in this video i will show you how to install react native in windows 11 so first of all i made this to-do list so that you can follow it and uh, one more thing uh, you can also refer the official react native documentation to install for installation so this is the official documentation. So let's get started. So to install React Native, we're gonna need uh, these four things. The first one is the node. Uh, the second one is the JDK Java development kit. The third one is the Android Studio. And the last one is any code editor like VS Code or Atom, whatever you prefer. So now, first of all, we have to install Node. So there are multiple ways to install Node, but the one that I prefer is uh, NVM, Node Version Manager. So NVM allows us to install multiple versions of Node, and it allows and it also allows us to switch between multiple versions of Node, like uh, 18 or 16, whatever. So for that, we are going to use the NVM. So you can type nvm for windows yeah so this is the uh, github repository but yeah you can i'll put all the links that i have been using in the description so you can go there and so this is download now here you can click and you'll get to this page now we'll be uh, downloading this nvm setup so download this setup so it has started now. Yeah, so you can go to the location and here I have already downloaded it. So, so yeah, here is the setup. Now you have to install it. So if any prompt appears and click on yes. So you accept next, next. Again, next and install. So yeah. NVM is now finally installed in your system. So if you want to check whether it is installed or not, you can do is you can launch the terminal app and then type NVM hyphen V. So this will give you the version. But now the main goal was to install the node, which is not present. So for that, what we have to do is again, you can go to the Google and type install node using NVM for Windows. And Microsoft provides an official documentation. So this is the documentation provided by Microsoft. So yeah, we have installed the NVM for Windows. We have also, so these are the commands. So NVM LS, this is the first command. So, so type nvm ls. So this will uh, show us which are the versions, node versions available. So currently we don't have any. So we can do this. We can run this command nvm install latest, but uh, we need to install the LTS version. So how you can check LTS version is you can type node LTS go to their official documentation and here you can see 18, 12, 1. You can also install node from here, but uh, by this way, you will not be able to switch to other versions. So yeah, here there is one more command, nvm list available. So you can type that. And yeah, here you have, you got the LTS version list, current version list, old, unstable, stable. So yeah, we. We need this 18, 12, 1. Okay. So what we're going to do, type nvm install and then type 18 point, what was it? 12, 1. So yeah. So if we hit enter, it will download and install the node version and the LTS version that we mentioned there and it will install it. After that, we can also verify. So first, again, we can see if we do node hyphen version, it's not recognized because 
we haven't set which version so by this command nvm use 18.12.1 we set the node version so if you get any prompt click on yes yeah so that's now node is eight, uh, 18 version so you can now verify node hyphen v and it will give you the version number okay so that's how you install nvm and install the node via and via nvm so yeah we have completed this task so download and install nvm for windows is completed download and install node lts using npm is completed now download and install java jdk so 11 so actually here jdk is provided it through chocolatey but you can also install it so generally open jdk 11 11 is uh, recommended here you can see if you already have a jdk on your system we recommend JDK 11. You may encounter problems using our JDK version. So first, we will install JDK 11 download. Now from here, go to the first link. This is the archive downloads. You can go to Windows installer, the exe file, click on it. Accept it and download. And now this will ask for your login actually. So yeah, logged in first. If you have account, then log in. Or if you don't have any account, then create a new account. Then click on sign in and then the download will start automatically. So I already have this file, so I will pause, uh, cancel it. So the file is present here. This is the JDK. So yeah, after downloading this file, double click to open a prompt will appear then click on yes so yeah, java is also installing now so yeah installation process for the java next next that's it now your system have java installed so close it and if you want to verify whether java is installed or not you just have to type java hyphen version so this will give you this version number so if the version number is visible then that means java is already installed so yeah now you are done so here we have installed downloaded and installed java jdk that part is also done now we have to install the android studio uh, as per the documentation this step is done so now we have to install the Android Studio. So download and install Android Studio. You can go to this site or you can directly go to Google and type Android Studio. Both of these are the same pages. So yeah. So click here, scroll down, accept their terms and conditions and download. So yeah, it's a one, almost a one GB file. So wait for some time and uh, wait till it's download. I'll close this one. I already have the file. Yeah, so this is the file of Android Studio. I will double click it. Wait for some time. Click yes. Then next select this android virtual device next next and install and uh, till then we will see the documentation and in the documentation it is written that we have to use this android 12s and the google api is intel atx atom system image with SDK platform 31. So these three are the requirements. So wait for some time to install and the installation is complete now. Launch the Android Studio or it will launch it itself. Yeah, so don't send no Android SDK found. So for that, we will create a new SDK. Accept it and finish.
wait for some time to extract install the SDK so the SDK installation has been completed so click on finish go to more actions SDK manager and in here you can click on these show package details and in that uh, it was told to install Android SDK platform 31 go to SDK tools and click on this 31 untick this SDK platform also it's gone from the SDK platform and Google Play Intel x86 select this both of these apply click on OK accept next So wait for some time to install the SDK required by the React Native. So till uh, SDK is installing, we will add uh, we will add the Android Home variable. So now we have downloaded and installed Android Studio, and we have also in this progress to install the android 12s so this is done now we will add the android home environmental variable so here it is shown so for that first we need to go to the edit uh, environmental variable so type edit system environmental variable click on edit here you can see there is no android home so yeah we have to create this variable so for that go to c user your pc name and this folder this folder is actually hidden so you can uh, click on hidden items and then you this folder will be visible so go inside that android sdk so this was the path provided in the documentation sdk path so yeah go here create a new with name as android home paste the path click on ok and yeah it is added now the next step is to add the platform tools to path so for that you just have to go inside the platform tools folder copy the path and add that same path inside the user variable path so go there click on edit new path paste the path and then save okay so that was how you can add you can also download the VS code. So you can see here VS code is uh, available to download. So click on this and uh, you can see the folder here. So yeah. So I have the setup file already. So I'll double click to install accept next so select all of these and next and then install close this and yeah so now vs code is also installed now the only remaining part is the sdk so this is the sdk required by the react native so wait for some time to let it install So the SDK installation is completed. So click on finish and now you can click on apply and OK. So here you have virtual device manager. So you can create one virtual device. So I prefer pixel 3a next. I also have this S already installed. So click next and then finish. So I have these uh, virtual device with me now. So I will close it. Now the next step is to create a. Now the next step is to create a 
react native project so first of all create your workspace like react native and inside that launch your terminal and you can create a react native project So my project name is sample app so this project will continue so wait for some time and let it download the template for react native so now we have created our project now we will launch the project go inside the project open the vs code editor here so that you can run the project now create a new terminal and there launch the metro server so this metro server is the bundler for uh, react native it bundles the javascript files so first launch this uh, metro server yeah it's live now and then launch the project using npx react native run android so first it is launching the emulator so in the first trial uh, your project build may fail because the emulator was not ready so it is booting up for the first time so it may take some more time or you may have to restart the project relaunch the project again so it already told us failed to launch the emulator but the emulator has launched already so wait for some time to uh, for the configuration of the project So configuration of the project is uh, completed. Now it is waiting to execute that APK file. So our emulator is completely working fine, but project is still in uh, compilation phase. Even though uh it shows us the error but still the project is running and you can see the server is also running the metro server and you can see the application code here in the app.js file this is the code wait for some time yeah so it is working properly now you can just edit anything here so like step one i'll change it to hello world and after saving you can see the changes here okay so now you can see hello world is being shown so yeah it is hot reload feature of the react native so yeah so that's how you install react native in windows 11 and in the next video i'll be making some react native projects basic projects so thanks for watching this video like and share this video and subscribe to the channel and we will meet in the next one